In this video, I'm going to take you through the cryptocurrency exchange, Huobi Global. And for more information on the Huobi exchange, please check out everybethelps.co.uk. Huobi is a long-running cryptocurrency exchange, which was launched back in 2013. The exchange itself was created in China, but is now based in the Seychelles, with offices across Asia and the US. And they offer a whole host of trading options, with their exchange for spot trading. There's margin trading, you can set up trading bots, and trade using Huobi brokerage. Plus there's also derivatives and futures, coin and USD margin swaps plus instant crypto collateralized loans, and ways to earn which is remarkably similar to the likes of Binance Earn that I recently covered, giving you the options of fixed and flexible earnings on your crypto. Plus they even have their own Huobi wallet available for managing your crypto assets. Now with so many options available, I won't be able to cover every single one. So we're just going to be focusing on a beginner's guide to the exchange and spot trading. And I'm going to show you how to deposit, trade and exchange with a buy or a sell order, plus how to withdraw from the platform. Now predominantly, Huobi is a crypto to crypto exchange and they currently list 346 crypto assets. And they have one of the highest trading volumes amongst any exchange, regularly appearing in the top five on CoinMarketCap. With spot trading, you can trade with up to 5x leverage. You can purchase crypto with the likes of a credit card and access the exchange from a mobile device, allowing you to deposit, trade and withdraw from anywhere. And their trading fee starts at 0.2%. However, these can be reduced by holding their own Huobi token named HT. This is an ERC20 token that enables users to reduce their trading fees, participate in initial exchange offerings, and cast their vote in governance decisions regarding the future direction of the platform. So let's jump into it. And to get started, you'll need to sign up for an account if you don't already have one. And I've got a link in the summary below that you can use. Plus, they regularly run promotional offers, which may differ depending on the time that you're watching this video. But you can also check out my website, everybithelps.co.uk, where I'll keep you updated with the latest offers. And when signing up for an account, you just need to enter in an email address and a password, and then confirm to get access. Now, one of the first things that I'd recommend doing, before you get started trading and depositing funds into Huobi, is to secure your account which you can do under your profile and then head down to account and security. Then you can set up the likes of Google Authenticator for one-time codes, plus you can enter in verified phone numbers and email addresses. Then once that's set up, let's take a look at the markets. And this is where you can find all the available crypto pairings to trade from and to. And there's markets for USDT, HUSD, which is their own token for USD deposits. There's BTC, ETH, HT and alts. And for each different token, you can find out a little bit more information by clicking onto the details section here, where it'll then provide you with a description of that token, plus some further information with regards to it. Now, as I said, the site is predominantly a crypto to crypto site, meaning that you'll need to have some crypto or a stablecoin to get started. But if you don't already have any crypto to trade with, they do have the option to buy at the top of the screen here. And this gives you an option to do a quick buy and a quick sell or convert. And you can buy with fiat currencies, including GBP, USD, Australian dollars and euros. And you can use that to buy the likes of Bitcoin, Ethereum, USD, DOT and Doge. And then you can either pay by card or a USD balance or the likes of faster payments for GBP. Now, unfortunately, this option isn't available everywhere, and there's a list of supported card types and jurisdictions available from the Help Center. Plus, you'll need to be at least basic level verified to use this service. Now, this is a convenient way to pay for your crypto, and similar to a lot of other exchanges, this does come at a price. With Huobi, this is at 3.5% of the transaction, and this fee is included in your purchase amount in your chosen currency which can work out to be a pretty high fee to pay. Now, if you do already have some crypto to trade with, you'll need to deposit it into the exchange. So let's head across to balances in the top right hand side of the screen, then go down to exchange account, which is for deposits and withdrawals. And you can deposit USD into here too, 
which you can do within one business day using domestic or international wires, and you'll need to go through an element of KYC from here. Just be aware that when you deposit your USD, that Huobi will be holding your USD as HUSD, which is a stable coin that is pegged one-to-one -one with the US dollar. And when you later go to withdraw your HUSD, it'll be exchanged into US dollars. But I'm going to be depositing crypto into here, where you have a lot of options available to get trading with, such as the likes of stable coins like USDT, USDC, and their own HUSD coin, plus the likes of Bitcoin, Ethereum, EOS, and XRP. To deposit, click on the deposit link beside the crypto that you're going to be sending across to the exchange. Then choose to send deposit address. Just note that there are some minimum deposits, however for BTC, that's 0 0.0005 BTC. And just make sure that you are sending across the correct type of crypto to the correct address. If, for example, you sent ETH to a Bitcoin address, you do risk losing your crypto. And once your crypto is deposited, we can then start to trade over on the exchange. And as I mentioned earlier, we're just going to be concentrating on the spot trading exchange today. So first up, let's take a look around the screen. On the far left, we have the estimated value of our account in BTC and also in US dollars. Then you have the different markets that are available. So we have BTC, so I'm just going to select that. And then we can choose which type of crypto we'd like to exchange to. And we're just going to select ETH for now as an example. Then once you select the coin, the pane on the right will then populate with information about that trading pair. In our case, that's ETH and BTC. And it will show you the value in your chosen currency and also in US dollars. We can see the change as a percentage, the 24-hour high, low and volume. Underneath is where you can view charts and market depths over specific periods of time. There's an order book on the right with potential sell orders in red and buys in green. Plus market trades showing completed orders detailing the price that they went through at and the amount that's been either bought or sold. Then in the center bottom of the screen is the exchange section, which is used for placing your orders onto the order book. So in here we can check out the fees that we're going to be paying, which is currently at 0.2% for all different types of orders. And you can reduce these rates further by holding their own HT token, which you can purchase using the exchange. And you can also link to paying with a credit card. You can 3x long or short and 5x margin trade. Now these options are slightly out of scope for this beginner's guide. But if you are interested in exchanging with leverage, then please let me know in the comments below and I can cover this in a separate tutorial. And from here, there are four different order types, which are limit, market, stop limit, and trigger orders. Now a market order is probably the simplest type of order where you just enter in the amount that you'd like to buy or sell. And then it will complete immediately for you at the best available market price. And your balance will then show with your new exchange token. Next, we have a limit order, which we're going to place in a moment. And with a limit order, you can define the price that you'd like to buy or sell your crypto at, meaning that you'd like to get more crypto for your money and potentially get a better deal. You'll then need to wait for the market to reach the price that you've defined and once it does, your order will then complete. There's a stop limit, which allows you to state that when the market hits a certain value, you'd like to buy or sell your crypto at the price that you've then defined. And this can help you to reduce losses. Then finally, there's a trigger order, where we can say that when the market reaches a certain value, you'd like to automatically place a market order to complete at the best available market price at that time. Now I'm going to take you through the process of creating a limit order now. And in this example, I'm going to be swapping BTC for USDT. So I'm going to select USDT at the top half of the screen, and then I'm going to select BTC. And it shows me the current price at the top of the screen here. But what if I want to sell my Bitcoin at a better price? Well, let's go down to the exchange section here. And we're going to click onto limit. And we're going to be in the sell section of the screen as we're going to be selling Bitcoin for our USDT. And it pulls through my available balance from here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the price that we want to sell at. 
and you can manually enter in the price into here, or you can select a price from the order book and edit that to help you to reduce any errors. So now we're saying that we'd like to exchange BTC for USDT, and we've entered the price that we'd like to sell this at. Next, we need to say how much Bitcoin we'd like to sell, which you can enter into here, or you can use the slider at the bottom to choose a percentage of your portfolio. Then when you're ready, you can go ahead and place your order, which will then go onto the order book waiting to be filled. And it'll also appear under your open orders at the bottom of the screen. And what's really handy here is that you can always cancel an open order if, for example, you've made a mistake or if the market swings in an unfavorable direction. Once cancelled, you can then just retry at a better price. Now, this won't apply to market orders which do complete immediately, and they're only available while they're still open and not been filled. And your order will be filled once the market reaches your price. And you can check out information with regards to your order under your order history. It will show you the date, the price, the amount and the fee that you've paid. So once you have your crypto, what you then do with it is up to you. Some people like to hold it, earn interest on it or provide liquidity. And I have tutorials for various platforms which cover these topics. But whatever you choose, I'd personally recommend not keeping it on exchange, which is a far more likely target for hackers. I'd send it across to the safety of a hardware wallet. So let's take a look at withdrawing our crypto now. So if we head back up to balances and then go to our exchange account for deposits and withdrawals. From here, you can withdraw your crypto or fiat if you have that on the platform. And if you haven't withdrawn before, you may be shown a screen asking you to agree to some terms and conditions. And there are some daily limits which you're not allowed to withdraw beyond. For USD here, that's not too much of an issue, but I know that some coins are at lower limits. So if you happen to hit your daily limit, you may just need to withdraw some of your tokens the following day. And if you're withdrawing coins such as USDT, there may be multiple chains supported, such as the likes of Omni and ERC20. Please just select the appropriate chain before you input the deposit address. So in the address section, you're going to be pasting in the withdrawal address where you want to send your crypto to. And this will be your receive address over on your wallet or the exchange or the platform that you're sending it to. Then you can enter in the amount that you'd like to withdraw or you can select all. And there's some fees to pay here and some minimum withdrawal limits too. When you're ready, you can then click on to withdraw. At this point, a security authentication screen will appear and you're just going to need to enter in all the different verification codes for every two-factor authentication method that you've set up on your account. Now, just one last thing about Huobi is their support, which I personally use via their live chat service. I have to admit, I was really impressed by the speed and the efficiency. My query was responded to within a minute. Plus, it was an actual person at the end of the chat service and not just a bot, which you do initially need to pass. But honestly, such a responsive support is simply unheard of in terms of cryptocurrency exchanges, which are notoriously bad. But that now completes my review of the Huobi exchange. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.